Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today's video is going to be about how to use Kraken's trading platform. This looks, for anybody who's new to the space, this looks really complicated, but I want to make sure and assure you that it's not. It's easier than you think it is and I want, a lot of people are kind of worried and scared to use these complicated looking exchanges, but the price you pay is paying a very high fee for ones like Gemini and Coinbase that are super simple. But this is really not very difficult and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So, first what you wanna do is it's a little bit unclear when you make an account on Kraken how to get to this page. It doesn't really have any really good glaring links at the top of the page. So what you wanna do is just go to, once you have an account on Kraken, go to trade.kraken.com in the top. And I'll place a link in the description below. Once you're here, you just gotta, usually you'll have a little sign on the right that says create account. You just click that and you know, and eventually you'll put, bring it up to this page. So let's just hypothetically go, you know, bring a scenario. We're just, let's just say we, well, let's, we don't wanna buy Bitcoin. Let's just say, I mean, look at all this. We have so many choices here. So each different choice is a trading pair. So this is dash relative to Bitcoin, dash relative to Euro, dash relative to USD. These are trading pairs. Usually what you wanna do is, I mean, it depends on if you're in Europe or the US, but we're gonna say US, just because I'm in the US and we're gonna make it simple. So we have a bunch of choices here and the screen doesn't really let you um, pull to the side here. So what you wanna do is if you're on this page and you click up here in the top left, this will give you all the trading pairs. Just press your mouse down, kinda of click over here and cl click down on your mouse and you should be able to scroll down. You sh you're not able to scroll down with on the side, so or else it goes away, which is a little bit frustrating, but nevertheless. So let's just say we wanna buy Cardano. So let's just type in ADA in the search bar, pull up our search with Cardano, and we have a few different trading pairs, but I'm gonna select ADA USD, okay? So now we are on the ADA USD page, right? So uh, what we have on the left is just the price graph standard and we can you know do it by 12 hours a day 30 minutes one week you know anything you want so we can view price charts here but that's not what we're interested in um, these um, graphs right here are the depth charts in terms of buys and sells not really focused on that right now and these are all the executed orders um, that are coming through on us you know, minute by minute, second by second basis whenever orders are executed. What we really want to do is we want to buy on this side, on the right hand side. Now what we're going to see here is you're going to have buy and sell options, right? So we're going to click buy. It should, should, should already be set to that automatically. And there's a few different, um, you know, settings we can put we can put in here. So the ones that we want to focus on for buying are market and limit. So a market order is an immediate transaction. The fees on Kraken are really low, so you're not really going to get slammed for placing a market order. Um, but I'd recommend limits because it's simply just even cheaper, especially if you're working with large quantities of money. So I usually just well, let's just say market for the purpose of this video, right? So your funds in USD will come up here, right? And this is where you have to kind of do some math yourself. Um, so let's just imagine that I have a thousand US dollars here, right? So the amount you're going to want to put is a thousand divided by this number right here, which is the price. So if it's one dollar, if Cardano was one dollar, you would just do a thousand. Well, you might want to do a little bit less just because you're going to have to pay a small fee and it will tell you. So once you type in the number of how much you want of the cryptocurrency or the token, it will automatically populate the price right here. So all you have to do is just input the, the amount that you want relative to your funds. So if you have you know, 0 0.078 is the price of Cardano right now and you wanna buy, I don't know, let's just say for purposes like 200 Cardano, right? So all you gotta do is you just take the US dollars that you have and then divide by 0.078, which is the price. That will give you 2,564 Cardano, roughly speaking. So all you would do is type 2,564 in here and it brings, well, it's not gonna work for me because I have no money, but you see what I'm, you know, $200 roughly speaking and it gives you the price. So it's pretty much just mimicking what you have on the side here, but just kind of putting it in a visual perspective. And then all you would just do is click buy. Um, that's it. And then you own Cardano.
So super easy. I mean, it doesn't. It, the, what's confusing is these numbers, all this stuff going on over here. This is more for advanced traders. We don't have to focus on that. This, this is simply just buying and selling. We want to place a limit order? It's a little bit, little trickier, but not too bad. Um, so what we want to do is again input how many Cardano you want. So let's just say for the purpose again, it's two thousand five hundred sixty-four, right? So we're just going to put that in here, no problem. And now the price. So typically speaking, when you're buying, you want to put in a price lower for a limit order, lower than the current price. So I would put in like point. 0.0780. So basically what a limit order is, is you put in a price that you think will be the target, and if it hits that target, then it automatically places the order for you. So let's just say you think Cardano is going to go down tomorrow. So the price is currently here, but now let's say you want to buy, you, you, you tell the computer, okay, I'm going to work at 9 a.m., and I don't have any time to buy and sell and watch the markets because I'm gonna be working. So I would like it to automatically make a buy for me if the price hits this low. If Bitcoin was 5,000, you say, hey, I think it's going to 4,500. You know, I you could set a limit order and say buy at 4,500, this amount of money. So I wanna put in 2,000 US dollars into Bitcoin at the price of 4,500. If the price does hit 4,500, you can it will automatically buy for you. If it does not, if it goes higher for some reason, which is possible, of course, you will not execute the order, and it simply just won't execute. So that's that's the, and you also pay much lower trading fees because it's less, it's not instant gratification, it's not an instant purchase. There's a pay, there's a price to pay um, for those kind of instantaneous purchases. And if you were to use Coinbase or, or Gemini, the ones that have higher fees, you can do a limit order and pay significantly less, but it's still more expensive than Kraken. So essentially, uh, you just want to put good until canceled, uh, usually speaking, because you, you just cancel it yourself. It just depends, right? I would just use do this so you have full control of it and just type it in and type the price. So it would be 0 0.0780. Well, it's not working. Oh, that's right. There we go. So that would be it, right? So we're buying 2,564 Cardano at this price when it hits, uh, and then it will just give you the USD, which is 200. But you get the point. So that's it. That's how you use Kraken. Um, it works for any currency. It's super easy, super cheap, fairly straightforward. Try not to get too involved in what's over here. This is more to come later. Um, not as important unless you're doing strictly high technical analysis in the charts, but... Um, this is kind of an overview, so and it will have your orders here, by the way. When you make an order, if it's a market order, it will show up, but it's not as relevant. If you have a limit order, you can see your orders in this little order book here, and you can just cancel. Under cancel, I have like a little red button. You could just click cancel if you want to cancel, and it will not execute the order, and your US dollars will show up again here. Now, when you do make an order like a limit order, your USD will disappear from here because it's it, even if it's pending, you still won't have the USD here. So if you have like 5,000 US dollars here and you put in an order for 4,000, it will only have 1,000 in here because you have a limit order being placed. If you cancel it, it will go back. It doesn't mean it's been used. It just means that it's in process. So don't panic if you see an order here that hasn't been fulfilled and you're missing dollars. That is, does not mean the exchange has purchased it. So just an FYI. Thank you so much, guys, and please subscribe and leave a comment below. Much appreciated.